Hey, hey Wendy, and I'm going to tell them what I... Okay. I, I Let me go over and give you a summary of what I, me and Philip and well, a couple of friends of mine... Time out. Time out. Welcome back to the Duck Welcome Call Room. Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. You can't just oh, start talking. I'm well, nervous, though. We've got to put our W sauce out. Oh, we've got well, to do all kinds of things, out. man. Get, okay. Quit trying to rush me. Okay. But I'm uh, nervous because last time we were all here together, I, you ought to be. I said some crazy stuff about yeah, you ought barbecue to be. versus Stone's barbecue, and now he's had it. So now, we, me, Philip, and two of my friends went to Longview, Texas. Yeah. Okay. I was going to be speaking, me and Philip, at a church over there okay. for the bunch of men. This is to catch okay. Goblin up. JD he here. was bold in his claim. Okay, so I got a little disclaimer to Ben for first. It you and Willie overreacted, but I can understand why, because you was probably it probably the same thing happened to y'all two that happened to me. Okay, it was edible, but it wasn't the best I've ever had. Ah! Oh, here we now, go. Now, now, let me tell you why. Edible? Yeah. Yeah. Edible. Edible. That's your yeah. that's yeah. your well, hold, statement. Hold, let, me, hold, let me tell you the rest of the story. But Okay, so we get there, and, and we show up at 6 o'clock. I don't know why they had me show up so early, since I didn't go on till 9. I gave you three hours to eat yeah. brisket, so, buddy. So I never I'd do. have walked out on that stage with yeah. a meat sweat. No, you hear me? No, 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 because I couldn't. Oh, I wouldn't be able to speak. That's I mean, why. you'd have rolled me no. out there. <laughs> no, no, because that, that's what happened to everybody else. I guarantee you. you know, and they said, well, well we, well, you want a plate? And because I said, it was no, edible. I, I don't ever like to, you know, speak on the full stomach. I said, so I'll wait. So look. You eat cold out, brisket. Yeah. That's a we go out there. Move. I go out there at nine o'clock. We, we, me and Philip speak about all oh, till ten fifteen. Okay, then I sit for about forty five minutes signing autographs and taking pictures. She was up till eleven. Oh yeah. So we get we get back to the room at eleven. Okay, I've got four or five big uh, containers. With the uh, surround, not surround wrap, but the tin foil. Mm. Yeah. Where are they? So we get back to the room, and it's four of them. Okay. So look, the first thing I do is open one, okay, and there's about, oh, eight racks of ribs. Praise God. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Then I open another one, and it's full of This is the best speaking engagement ever. Can I sign up? Okay, so it's full of brisket, so we pick out. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. So look. On cold brisket. Oh, no, 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 no. It was still warm. Matter of fact, the ribs were hot. It's amazing. No, yeah, the ribs were hot. So this man keep his brisket warm for you till 11 p.m. and oh, you're going to say edible? Oh, well, hey, it was. <clears throat> you know. So look, we pig out. I get in bed about 12. He pigs out. Uh-huh. Okay. No. So look. <laughs> Record show. Need a Zantac the size of a oh, hockey no. puck. You lay it, down with a This was a horrible of night like of sleep because I'm just, I ate too much. <laughs> Okay, uh-huh. so I fought these ribs and brisket all night long, <laughs> and, I, and I get up about 8, maybe 7.30, and I said, well, I'm so miserable, I said, I don't know but one thing to do. Give me some more of it. Get, hey, get back on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so look, Philip comes in about an hour later, you know, and he said, uh, is there anything left in the, in the refrigerator? I said, oh, refrigerator. I said, yeah, there's some ribs and, and brisket back there. So he opens it and starts going through it, and there's two big boxes. And he said, hold it. I, he said, where's all the ribs? I said, they in the box? He opened it up. He said, no, it ain't nothing but 75 bones in this stupid box. <laughs> he said, what are you talking about? You ate And eight I said, I'll oh, hold it. Hold it. No, nah, that's no. Nah. There's got to be some ribs in there. He said, no. And then he opened one that was supposed to have brisket. And he said, and I said, well, hey, this hotel must have rats and mice. Is all I can tell you. They can open a refrigerator door? <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, that's the only thing I can tell you. It was edible, and he <laughs> ate it all. Uh, that's, it. Hey, that's right. So it was good. <laughs> it was edible. <laughs> you know, but it wasn't the best I've ever had. Philip uh, said it was. Quit short oh. selling yourself because Mac Millen done texted us and oh. gave it a ten out of ten. Oh good. Now the problem with Philip giving ate something eight a, racks. Yeah, <laughs> of ribs. It, but it was edible. Well, I I don't know how many we. And had, you ate it for breakfast. Hey, because I it, it was a big bunch of ribs. If you eating smoked meat for breakfast, it don't come in a taco form. 
It was more than edible. Oh, yeah. Nah, it was edible. Give the man credit. Johnny D. Nah, you you, know, you can tell Johnny D's, right? It's his birthday for Christmas. Hey, it was. Loud. Hey, you didn't really overreact it, okay? It was good, but I mean, it wasn't that good. Was there any dessert? Was it? <laughs> no. I could not. I'm could just not. telling you right now, if I'm eating brisket for breakfast, it was good. <laughs> He's yeah. calling it edible, and he ate eight pounds of beef. It won't even give you the satisfaction on your birthday That's to say you were right. He won't let me know I was right. And hey, and I spent I spent a night and the other the next day sweating it out. Miserable. Yeah. The that's ride, my, that's the ride actually, from Longville all the way to home was horrible too. That's what it is. It's it's <laughs> not that he didn't it no. he's downgrading it hey, on his mistake. I yeah. paid for it, boys. I paid for it. Yeah. Okay. That's what happens when you a glutton. Yeah. Well, hey, <laughs> you could have brought some hey, here. Well, it that's why cool. hey, that's why pigs get Y'all, and then hogs get slaughtered. Yeah, pigs get fat, hogs yeah. get slaughtered. Yeah, pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. I will say. Oh, I got slaughtered. We did have somebody email in and rebuke me. It's in because it's, it's his favorite restaurant. Austin emails in. He even had his rehearsal dinner there, which is big time. <laughs> uh, and he good. said, get a side of brisket. The ribs are where it's at. And I think, you know, eight racks of edible ribs proves that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, they was, they was edible. <laughs> he won't edible. give me the same. Hey, that's that's plain to see. They were edible. There was one left. God, okay. Man. He cool. did hey, he just when I think you different than all them Robertsons, you come back and show you yeah. just you are one of them, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> well to be fair kept in private. Yeah. If it wasn't yeah. absolutely outstanding, he'd go, no, nah, ain't much. That ain't much. No, yes, yeah, so I say something's edible means it was really, really well, good. Well, that was hey, that it was passable. That's what I'm saying. Well, put your mic up to your face. That way we can hear you. It was passable, boy. It was hey, passable. Passable. You've no. lost your mind. <laughs> Oh, well, good night. I thought I thought he was finally going to give me my. No, you were never, right. No, never. You ain't getting what you do, son. Never, <laughs> never nah. going to get it. Uh, uh-uh, not out of. No, nah, nah. not out of us. It's genetic. There's just some things <laughs> you can't get past. Hey, you man. ain't gonna get past it. Boy. There's just some things you can't get past. Unbelievable, unreal. Well, we're, tea break. Yeah, get a little tea break. Look, I will. We we got a few minutes to the uh, end of the first break. How was Mother's Day received by everybody? Everybody, you took care of the moms in your lives. Did boy, good. Look, I that, saw what y'all did. Boy, was mine was look, bad. I cut sixty five fillets. Mignons? No. Yes, but from the water. <laughs> Crappies. Crappies. I, I saw the pictures. How did you cook them? I half of them. I cook with sour cream mm-hmm. and the other half i cook with mustard hey mm-hmm. there's a man now, I took, cooks for everybody i took the mustard no it was more than 60 anyway i took mustard and put on my fillets but what i added to my flour was i got me a rolling pin and put me some Cool Ranch Doritos in a Ziploc bag and just crunch them suckers up fine. If we ain't careful, and, we gonna get labeled as a food. And podcast. put put it into the put it into the flour, and then I put my mustard on. I put salt, pepper, and garlic on my flays, mixed them up. Then I put my flour on there, and mixed I, it all I'm up. I'm sorry, you just you're making me happy. I got touch you on the shoulder. Three seventy five. One thing. Next time you do that. Put the German hot mustard on it. I'm, think, enough. I'm yeah. thinking about putting some of that gray poupon on there and seeing what it tastes like. I'm sure it was edible. Because you can't taste the mustard, but it is a little bit tangier than the sour cream. So I eat 75% of his meals out of a can, and he's going to tell y'all how to cook. Well, no, no, That's I'm just wild. saying. No, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, I need to get somebody to put the German hot mustard on it. Oh, well, let's find some. Well, I don't want That's it. just spicy brown? I mean, is that what the I German mustard it. is? It's spicy hot, brown hot mustard? mustard. Yeah. How hot is it? I don't it want it that, hot. It, ain't, it won't burn you. It's just, got a, it's just got a good spicy and a little heat flavor. That would be interesting. I noticed one thing oh, no, about Godwin. I'd like to call what I noticed on social Godwin's gathering is there were a bunch of foil pans sitting there with paper towels. Mm-hmm. They... Soaked up the grease. They did their job, but there wasn't nothing in them in them pictures. Like it's gone. Late picture. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
Like you, the crew, I let you, all the, the crew you fed. We had Paula got up there and she said, "Everybody that has a mother here, the daughters had to wait on the mamas." Yeah, that's pretty cool. And so nobody could eat. I eat last, which I kind of like that because I just get what's left. Yeah, but. Everybody That's had a chance, did. didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> they had their chance. <laughs> so, too yeah. bad for you, but it was good. Good, yeah. I, I, I had a bad think, But side by side, I'd never done that. And side by side, I think I'm, who won I'm the leaning race? towards the mustard. But who won the race? Which one was empty first? Uh, I think the mustard was. But it uh, was first. But there it wasn't was the first price? one you got to. But there wasn't none left. No. Right? Look, no. there was one of them pint-sized Ziploc bags. Yeah. Brooke took that home. Oh, okay. That's all that was left. <laughs> Did you make French fries? <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw them there. And onion ring. You know those weren't originally cooked in France? I know it. They cooked in Greece. <laughs> Got him. Jack wanted me to I did. read that and see I, if it worked. I, I did. did. I did note something. You... They had dessert, sir, and they had some that I could eat, whatever it was. I don't know. It was, anyway, you know how you eat, you drinking sweet tea, mm -hmm. and you eat something sweet, it tastes unsweet? So I got me an idea because I drink unsweet tea. I said, I'm going to eat something sweet, and it's going to make my tea sweet. No. No. It don't work. That <laughs> work. Well, good. don't that seem... I mean, it's like that light bulb in the refrigerator. Never goes out. Never goes out, boys. There you go. It's on every time I open the door. Well, let's take our first food break of the day. We'll be back right after this. That's right. Martin. What? I was so excited this week. Why? Because I have rocket money, right? Uh-huh. And my cousin's kids were in... Uh, baseball state championship game and my mom was like well i want to watch it on youtube i was like well i've subscribed to this before and i got got because i forgot about it but now i got rocket money so i said yeah we'll subscribe for a month and feel good about knowing i ain't going to end up paying to watch high school girls volleyball uh in june because i got rocket money i know i'll get it canceled before it keeps resubscribing me over and over and over again so you were able to watch the baseball watch game. Watch the baseball game. Guilt free. State champs. What? There you go. Look at there. And all because of rocket money. Rocket money made me feel better knowing I wasn't going to pay month after month after month and not even know I was paying month after month after month. There you go. That's a good thing. Because look, you could have been paying for it the last six months. Been like, oh yeah, I got that. I've, I've been paying for this. I forgot. Well, or you went to money. sign up and been like, I forgot. However, rocket money lets you know. So you've saved a little bit of money. You subscribe, you cancel, you're good to go. Look, we've all been got try it free for 30 days, then you forget, right? I mean, we've all. Yeah. There, there ain't a person. I probably still have some that ain't come up yet because there's been a lot of time at the home with the boys. Subscriptions, you want to do something to keep them occupied. So I'm sure coming right around the corner, I'm going to get a notice that are you still subscribing to this? And I'm going to say, no, we're out. And that's the cool thing. Look, subscriptions cost you a ton. Look. Most people pay like two hundred dollars in subscriptions. That's it's crazy. I mean, that's wild. It's unbelievable. So if you don't know how much you're spending every month, it could get lost. But that's where Rocket Money comes in. Look, there are pers Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. They know Godwin has been buying shiners at the Honey Hole every day, every Tuesday for three weeks at the honey hole they're gonna ask if it's a subscription coming up i guarantee <laughs> but god was gonna say no i need to go buy my no, signers because i'm do going not fishing. stop that one <laughs> do not. and if they got the app it's all right there in one spot i got it on my phone hey the other day i had a big check for some work on my house Ooh. boom notification instantly did you spend that that you know where your money's going they gonna watch out for you anything you do they're watching for over 80 percent of people have subscriptions they forgot about and chances are you're one of them like that stars app just to watch one show or that free gaming trial that you never actually use rocket money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you and for any you don't want to pay for anymore all you gotta do is hit cancel rocket money takes care of the rest of it for you You don't have to stay on the phone you don't have to do all that stuff they do it for you rocket money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorize your expenses so you can easily track your budget in real time. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person's 
about $720 a year. That, that's a good raise there. So stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash duck. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. Rocketmoney.com slash duck. So my sister's out of town. Well, she's a mom. She yeah. went to visit she's her. She's a twin mom. Twin mom, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but she went to visit um, her husband's family up in Nashville. But my dad, so my dad asked my mom and Allison what they wanted to eat. And so we had filet mignon, mm-hmm. old mm-hmm. shrimp, fried shrimp. And then we, we only did the, we you know, we're cornmeal folk over at our house. So we had some crop. Oh, food. that's a sacrilege. And it was so good. And I hurt myself. You but then my sister wasn't there, and she texted me. She said, are y'all eating together? And I said, yeah, and I sent her a picture of just steaks and shrimp and all the uh, things. My dad makes best fried shrimp on the planet, maybe. And she got mad. She said, "I'm that's not nice, because she was at Olive Garden in Tennessee. Uh, mm, yeah, there's Olive Garden. three key letters in Olive Garden, G-A-R, gar. Uh-oh. Gar, then. Uh-oh. It's, gar. It's, it's a gar. It's Once a gar, they, always says. Yeah, it's just not very good. I'm not a. I'm not a. He fan. ain't. A, he ain't an olive I mean, well, garden. I would call it edible. Yes, I, I would say it's edible. Mm. Hey, they make decent meatballs. Well, that's what. <laughs> that's great. You like their meatballs? Yeah, I like them bread. It's a spicy meatball. I, I, <laughs> when is the last time you've eaten Olive Garden? When? Day yeah. four yesterday. No, that was probably uh, twenty days ago. You went. I would have lost how my wife much my wife loves Olive Garden. Does she? Yeah. For the breadsticks and salad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Learn something new today. And the meatballs. If you want to meet Cy, go to Olive Garden. I yeah. noticed something about women in that age class. They love going there for breadsticks and salad. Yeah. Hmm. Last and, time I- and and meatballs because hey, I ordered about four, and then what, what I eat I don't eat was spaghetti. I make my wife makes me meatball sandwiches. Oh, okay. I'm into that. Yeah, with the bread up like you do look meatloaf. Mm-hmm. I like, I you know, whenever we cook, Kay cooks meatloaf. Yeah, I just get me two slices of bread. Yeah, put you a little piece have of provolone a, have cheese a meatloaf on there. After, so. Provolone, <laughs> it is. Last time I was at Olive Garden, I went to sit down. And I pulled my chair out, and then I went to sit down. And my wife thought that was her chair, and she pulled it out, and I was laying on the floor in the middle. You of You sat the down, all right, on the floor. There you go. It was very <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but then we went and picked strawberries yesterday. Strawberries, where at? At the strawberry farm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where's that at? It's out in Calhoun. Yeah. Calhoun. Oh, the Indian. The Indian. Indian it, that's Indian a cool River, place. Indian Creek or whatever. It Indian is. Village. Yeah. They you didn't the, eat none while you was picking them, right? I ate some this morning. <laughs> you gotta know, wash I'm, them. I'm talking while you're picking them. No, you gotta pay for them first. Hey, no. Hey, you always eat them when you're picking. <laughs> where is it? Hey, but they I mean, weigh the bucket. Right. Yeah, they weigh. Well, you, you, you got bucket oh. sizes, and well, you know, hey, I, the I, said, I should have tell them, hey, you better weigh me before we start. <laughs> okay, and they'll weigh me. Got him twice. Got him twice. Because I'm gonna be grazing while we're out there picking, boys. It's a low key thief, man. <laughs> yeah. But he's at the age where people don't care. Hey, right? it's like, but yeah. they got. Hey, you mean to tell me that if you go out to a farm and pick something like strawberries, you don't eat some? Not until you paid for yeah, it. I, I, I don't believe it. I tend to pay before I don't I, believe I consume it. I'm not the person that walks in the, the oh, section I don't, I don't of fruit that. and eat two grapes. Do you do that at the determine. grocery store? Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, you, you just, just go take snacking? a no. bite out of an onion, no. make sure you want it. pay for it at the grocery store. Yeah, pay for it at the grocery store. But if yeah, it's because, small business. Yeah, if it's small business, if it's mom and pop out there sweating. Yeah. Oh, hey. Paying for Struggling their own fertilizer. To make a living. Yeah. Shoveling chicken crap to keep everything growing good. No, we'll eat that first. Pinching as many pennies hey, as they can. They look uh, terrible, man. They're doing pretty good, I think. But I was they, say, they ain't hurt. They're doing all right. Well, because they got this homemade ice cream strawberry from their strawberries. Yeah. Did you dope pop that? It's larping. I might go back right now. That's I sat here and tried on. to figure out. I never realized that Mother's Day was like a fried fish holiday for Louisiana, but that's what we oh. had too. We all hey, fried look, fish. That's just if a you fry a fish, it don't matter if it's Mother's Day or not, and yeah. you invite five people, 15 10's going to show up. That's right, 15's going to show how's up. That, how's that happen? It's just like hey. that school of fish out there on the river. That's right. It all started at five, but they just keep growing. That's what I had to do when my plate got empty. I had to go 
catch me some more out of that pan. <laughs> that's that's Were they biting? Boys. Yeah, I found a school of them. <laughs> found a school of them. It was all uh, in one place on that napkin. That is wild. You know, because you have certain foods for certain holidays, and I just realized three of the four of us had fried fish for Mother's Day. That's, that's yeah. fried fish season. That's well, what, let's be honest, for a lot of us guys, that's the easiest thing we can cook to feed a crowd. So it's, well, That's it's, what Miss Paula wanted on Mother's Day. Yeah, and that too, that's fantastic. That was mainly for the kids at our house because we yeah. were doing a fried shrimp and steaks. Well, all the but Brit- I ate some of that too. Brittany and all of our friends that we celebrated Mother's Day with, the, all the women informed us that they wanted to be treated as though they had no arms or legs, which no basically meant keep them kids away from us. <laughs> uh, we we want a day, and so <laughs> I and love it. fried fish was on the menu, which was kind of cool because we had to go catch some fish. And I know my know, freezer's empty now. Yeah, and. Uh, so it wasn't a bad day. It was a good day. No, it ain't. Well, as far as the general public is concerned, it's empty. But Godwin always got a little stash. I got a little six pack. Yeah. In there. <laughs> little packages of six for me and Paul. Yeah. He like me. You look at me, I'll pull out a package of them green wing teal in about July. Ooh, it's I got the one some. that I sat mm-hmm. off to the side. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got some of them too. Yeah. That's what, yeah you a couple just, of back straps. Mm-hmm. You never know what you find in there in the corners. You're like, mm-hmm. oh, where'd this come from? Yeah, and that brown sack. Kind of like Willie used to stuff a 20 behind picture frames. I ain't got that much spare cash, but I do have wild game I can hide from myself in the freezer and find in June, July. I like that. And have a have a good meal that, that you ain't had in a hot minute. But I well, like fish. I know this. It's, it's finally hot around here. Golly, summer. I know. Going to get summer, 90 degrees today. Summer done showed up around this point. Ooh, All man. of a sudden. It was pretty hot. We had that big festival this weekend, too. How was that? Was Washed that good? Water. It was good. Now, it was super hot, and then the bottom dropped out. What you eating tonight for your birthday meal? Uh, Homemade ham- pizzas? Hamburgers, french fries, and ice cream. Oh, what kind of ice cream? We going to that new place. You oh. know how West Monroe acts when we get a new restaurant and everybody yeah. fights to get in, even though it's just the fast food place. Has it calmed down now? I don't know, but I'm. It's my birthday. People get out my way. Oh, yeah, I'm getting ice cream and hamburgers yeah. tonight. Dead gummit. Thank you. Oh well, let's take wow. another break. We'll be back right after another. Side, did you get your beauty nap in this morning? No. Why not? Hey, I got up early this morning. You slept good on that Helix I normally, mattress? Yeah, I normally don't get up till about 11. I was up at 9.30 today. But it wasn't your mattress? Uh, no, it wasn't the mattress. The Helix wasn't the problem. It no, was you. Helix wasn't the problem. It's that kind of quasi-half moon. It's got you, you all off rhythm. Well, it's just this Saturday weekend. The weekend had me thawed off. And that's what time of people course, should be awake by. You sleep at 9.30. <laughs> That's wild. He's that's a good night's like, sleep, and you can only get a good night's sleep on a Helix mattress. I hey, that's why I look so good. Hey, I get my beauty rest. I don't know that we want to tie that in with Helix, but well, we'll go with it. Helix Sleep is a premium mattress brand that provides tailored mattresses based on your unique sleep preferences. Look, they got 20 unique mattresses. You get on there. You take a quiz. Boom, bow, pow, wow. It's at your house. You get your mattress. The one designed for you, how you sleep, how big you are, so, how comfortable you want to be. Cool thing is, they offer you a 100-night trial, so you can try it out. It doesn't matter. If you don't like nights. it, they'll take care of that, too. Everybody is unique, and everybody sleeps differently. That's why Helix has several different mattresses to choose from, each designed for specific sleep positions and feel preferences. So they, they Helix has models with memory foam layers. If you like to be cradled, if you like sleeping on the floor, it don't matter. Whatever you are, I like they got you. for them. <laughs> <laughs> if you sleep hot, you can cool down. Okay. So they got it all. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want, you got it. Johnny D, which one are you still rocking out? I'm on that quiz? moonlight. It's for big boys who just sleep on the back, sprawled out <sighs> like this. I'm sure Allison's very appreciative of that. <laughs> well, so. I don't have as much room as I used to. <laughs> That's a different story in a different podcast. Uh, <laughs> You sleep like sweet bee sleeps. It's the best mattress we've ever slept on. Set up is fast and easy. Helix mattresses are delivered in a box straight to your door for free. But don't take our word for it. Helix has been awarded the number one mattress picked by Wired magazines, even recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine. So quit wondering. Try it out today. Helix is offering up to 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash duck. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts right now. Go to helixsleep.com slash duck. 
That is the thing with West Monroe, though. You I'm get ready. A, any new restaurant with a drive through police have to, they have to wave people in. Yeah, it's wild, man. We, we have a certain deal you, in this town of really liking substandard fast food a lot. Do you remember when— And I'm not saying Freddy's substandard. I've never had it. But when that Dairy Queen opened, look. When Dairy Queen opened. They had to sell everything other than the Blizzard machine anyway. We had a Dairy Queen for 20 years, maybe 15 years. Yeah. Around the corner. That you could get like nachos and hot dogs at. It was a cool thing. And then this newfangled Dairy Queen shows up. The only OG thing they got is a Blizzard. That Dairy Queen shut down. Yeah. For about five years. Yeah. Maybe eight, nine, somewhere in there. I love. They opened up a new Dairy Queen around the corner. There are police directing traffic yeah, now to get mm. into the drive. Now it's so bad, there's a pothole where people have been turning in from the other. I mean, like, it's still, I, you got to swing wide at the Dairy Queen. And they ain't got a, they ain't got a turning lane. Like, you end up over there driving basically halfway on the Burger King parking lot, which is fine because it's empty. This town like, loves a new restaurant. I, That's all for I'm sure. Saying. Unless it's local. Then they're like, I don't know about that, man. It's, oh a, little, it's a little pricey. Now we're taking like, shots at the people. No, I'm just saying, like, they'll give any chain a chance. But a lot of time, a man go out on a limb and, like, open his own restaurant. They're like, I don't know about that, man. It's just kind of aggravating. I'm a big believer in supporting local. Oh, absolutely. Well, you are local. You 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 are the epitome of local business with a honey hole. So, hmm. no, it's a – but, you know, we try to – get out and support the little people that open up things. I think it's kind of cool when people chase their dreams. Now, a lot of time they get in over their head because small business, a lot of hard work, but you know, yeah. it is what it is to that regard. It's wild out there. It is. But look, Hey, I got something that doesn't come from a small business from a fan of ours. Uh Oh, is it edible? Let me show you the bag. Oh, oh. oh. I've been hiding this over here just for y'all. I didn't know what it was. I I've saw been- it. I've been hiding this. So a fan dropped this off at the store for us. I'm read, I'm going to read her note. Read her note. This is from Linda and David out of uh, Wesley Chapel, Florida. It said, Duck Call Room, we listen to your podcast. Thanks for all the laughs. We came to West Monroe to visit White's Ferry Road Church. Awesome. Because we love watching online and we're baptized by Phil yesterday. Hey, awesome. That's cool. Yep. How cool is that? So yesterday on May 14th, Phil baptized these folks. On our way from Florida, we passed by the Buckies and knew that you love their beef jerky. So we brought you an assortment of Buckies beef jerseys. Let's have it. Linda and David. <laughs> thank you. We love you. Thank you so much. And welcome to the forever family. Yeah. That I thought you were going to say West Monroe. No. Yeah. <laughs> they probably, no, they important. dropped this on the way out of town. So oh, yeah. <gasps> we got steakhouse beef jerky. Is the turkey strips in there? I don't know. I I have not looked. I just, I literally just had the note. I'm so uh, Hot and spicy. Yep. Not for me. Um, Mesquite peppered. That one's really good. That one would be mm. a good one. Okay. I know all these. Um, <laughs> I'm a fan. Peppered's Just good. Hill Country Peppered. Good. So and, there's not a bad one. Oh, no. These are mine, bro. Y'all have that. What, what is, is that? that? Milk chocolate almonds. Yeah. Nah, y'all have all the beef chocolate. I can't have I milk say, chocolate. Throw them almonds this direction. Overruled. <laughs> you going to open them? Uncle Si. I really got to share my almonds with you? Yeah, you got to share them. Uh-huh. Give me one of them. Which one you want? I'm not I a beef know, jerky man, man. What, but I am. Which one's the best? Goblin, look. Which one's it's the best? It's your day. You pick, buddy. Actually, it's Johnny D's day. But sorry. You're sitting here. Well, you, uh, you tell me. that red one, sir. Hot and spicy? Yes, sir. Yeah, you know me all too spicy. well. What's, baby? What's the second best? I couldn't best? do that again. Mesquite pepper's really good. Yeah. Right, Mesquite pepper will be good. Si, what do you want? I want the almonds. <laughs> we're gonna have to work on the almonds because we're gonna divvy them up. Well, hey, here we go. We'll open them up. Anyway, have you a handful and then throw them over here and make it me. A hand That's cool that they they drove through and gave us that. My hands are bigger than yours. That's true too. You got small hands. It's so good. I'm gonna slide these because they can tear something up. I'm going to Bucky's soon. By the way, there you go. I didn't want to hit nothing over and tear it up with the weight of them almonds. (laughs) Oh, this is so good. Oh, the whole room smells like jerky. It's a good thing that you YouTube people and people listening don't have smell because you'd be pulling over to get you some beef jerky right right now. Is is that not one of the weirdest parts of beef jerky? It doesn't smell good. It really doesn't overall. Unless you're eating it. Yeah, because right now I'm not eating anything, and I'm like, man, that's... Then it smells delicious. That's stout. Ain't much, are they, I wonder how long they hung this. 
long enough. <laughs> oh, these are real good. <laughs> I know they're good. That's why when I got to them, I was like, no, them's for me. But anyway, Linda and David, thank you so much. Look, that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool that y'all made the trip all the way up here and then got baptized by Phil. That's hey, awesome. Are you ready for this, though? What's that? I mean, we're on it. Uh, y'all, we're getting way ahead out of the emails, but I got an email today. And it's one of my favorite emails we've ever got. Go really? Ahead. River is two years old. Oh. River had a birthday party. River is my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Go, River. That's all right. right. Uh, here she is. She's two years old, had Bucky's plates, Bucky's banners, Bucky's birthday cake. How cool is that? Her grandma sent me this. If I can be fair, I was not expecting a female river. That's awesome. Mm-mm. She apparently watches her guy, watches you guys with her memo almost every day. They always say, day. old man river. And she asked what could be cuter up on the screen. And I got to be honest with you, a two-year-old Bucky's birthday party is kind of at the top. Kind of neat. Speaking of things that have happened bizarrely do you still have that picture i texted you from like friday from the fan that sent me the message on instagram oh yeah of the weird places our t-shirts show up our fans wait till you see this one si you're gonna like this hmm. hold on you are gonna really get a good chuckle out of this one old buddy we texted a lot on saturday oh yeah we did what day was friday the day before Saturday. That's true. Mm-hmm. The other day. There you are calling me a trespasser. There's a picture. Oh, here it is. Oh, that's gone. Si, you made the news. I made the news. So for those of you that can't see, our fan, Kim, sent me a message on Instagram that said, oh, Uncle Si really needs to talk to this guy because he's getting arrested for a DUI. And he's wearing a shirt that says, Cy is my role model. <laughs> so, Cy, what do you think when somebody's wearing a shirt that says you're their role model and they're getting arrested for a DWI or DUI, whatever you're at? You need to give up the bottle there, my man. <laughs> our, our fan, Kim, from Flowery Branch, Georgia. <laughs> well. That's like the first time I was watching Tiger King and we the Duck Commander logo showed up in Joe Exotic's little pet ranch out there, whatever you want to call it. That was a tiger ranch. There you go. Whatever you want to call it. Sanctuary. I don't think it was. Sanctuary area. But we're just all eating now. Yeah, that's fine. I thought that somebody I thought that Cy may actually talk a little longer on the guy, but he he can't quit eating the almonds. So mm. we have created a monster there. <laughs> we have shut him up. But what's the, okay, so we know where Duck Commander shirt. What's the weirdest place Honey Hole merch has showed up? I know you've you've posted a couple. I've seen a hat up there at the, when Victor had us up there for that uh, deal. In Minnesota? Yep. Yep. Oh, no, can't tell that story. Uh-oh. Um, not without you wearing it, of course. Not. Uh, not. Uh, no, I don't know if there's been any weird. The One time when me and Willie were in. Haiti, there was a guy wearing a Duck Commander shirt walking down the street. But Honey Hole's been like at the Masters and stuff. People sent y'all pictures. That's oh, like, yeah. Like, John like, Daly's buddy was in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers suite wearing a Honey Hole hat. That there you cool. go. Yeah. yeah, that would probably be the like, whoa, we were just on national TV. Oh, and then when that dude was on Tucker Carlson getting interviewed about the weights and fish. Um, <laughs> yeah. You have to say it like that. If you ever have a weight and a fish, you got to say, there's weights and fish. Because um, that video's sad and hysterical i think those dudes went to jail anyway um and see look now you can't even go find that because tucker's gone (laughs) let's take another break everybody can wash their mouth out and we'll be back right after this you were telling me i have a friend his woman she started ag1 by athletic degrees religiously Religiously. she's got she got some bread under them and she She when she gets up she comes in there Everybody goes to the coffee pot except her. She got her little cup. And- Here, you want to know why she's taking it, though? Because she wanted better gut health, increased energy, immune system support. Didn't want to take a bunch of different vitamins and That's pills. Right. She wanted to have the 75 included, boys. Right there in one scoop. Look, so AG1 by Athletic Degrees. If you're like, what is that? Look, it's a scoop. You scoop a powder into 
the water, you shake it up. It's all your greens. It's all your minerals. Every scoop has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients that have huge benefits like gut and mood support, boosted energy, and it's great for your skin, hair, and nails. That's why I look the way I do. It's just high-quality stuff that's good for you, people. Everybody else drinking coffee? She's drinking that. Basically the same price, except she is arming her immune system and feeling better by doing that. I take it. You know, Stone started it. Christian started it. We're all taking it. And look, you need to stick to some habits, and you want one of those habits to be AG1. Make it part of your life. It was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better you know, without having to do a lot. And it's seriously the healthiest thing you can do every morning in under a minute. I started sleeping way better when I started taking it. Uh, but no matter what lifestyle you're into, whatever diet you're on, it works for that. Look, if you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel backs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash duck. That's athleticgreens.com slash duck. Check it out. One scoop will do you. We yeah. should have Sai's birthday again. I know. Let's have I would rather it be Sai's birthday than my birthday. How old are you? 34. That's kind of a guard. 34. So next year, at least you get to celebrate being closer to 40 than 30. So 34 is just kind of eh, whatever. Yeah. That's whatever. It's a low key one. Yeah, for sure. What'd your kids get you? I don't know yet. I guess I'm going to get something tonight. Maybe nothing. Wait until you get home. Hug. What'd they end up getting Allison for Mother's Day? You always said you do the, you order, you, you yeah. ask them. What, what would, what would, what'd you order from Amazon and have Prime delivered this year? <laughs> uh, no, Carter went with the dress. Just a dress? Eight-year-old's picking out dresses for mom, man. She liked it. They, they, here's a, look. In, in public or in does. private? No, she said she's going to wear it. Oh, okay. Here's a tip for men everywhere. It wasn't a race car dress then. No, it was. <laughs> if you ever want to buy your wife something and just surprise the mess out of her, you get her, go to Amazon, type in dress with pockets. Pick her size. Like 30,000 people bought it, so you know it, they like it. Mm -hmm. Boom. Huh. So, and she liked it. Lottie got her the most ridiculous sandals you've ever seen. She's going to be like two inches taller, but they're for like the pool. And they're like big clouds. And then Ben's got her. Uh, <laughs> ben said he wanted to get her a mug that says, I heart you on it. But I said, we have eight of those. We got to change it up. And he got her some highlighters and some post-it notes and then tape. He's really into tape. So he went like teacher appreciation week yeah. on it. He got tape yeah. for his birthday. That was one of the big things he wanted. Like scotch tape? Scotch tape. What's he doing with it? Lots of stuff. Tape stuff together. He's like, making crafts. Just oh. wait till he finds out about electric tape. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be impressive. And then One year he asked for cardboard tape. and duct tape for his birthday. Or wait till he finds out about hot glue. He like Ooh. builds things out of paper. So I'm kind of excited because I think like he, he might, might be an engineer. He might have, well, he might do a little like woodworking the way, like I've seen some of his, like he's like making full boxes out of paper. I'm like, and tape. I'm like, hey, bro. Yeah. They make these already. He might be a. Plant manager, graphic packaging or something. Well, right now you need to invest in somebody if he's going through that many yeah. paper products. He, he mean, goes through a lot of crafting products. There you go. He's very good. big into it. But that's what, yeah, that was the move. Tape, highlighters, dress with pockets. I'm and telling you. Dress what, did, what did Lottie say to get to like fluffy shoes? For Sandals. People? Sandals. I, I did, I did. X nay about four of them that she saw first and said those. I was like, nope, <laughs> never going to wear those. <laughs> but then once we found some that's like golf cart pool approved, like, okay. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, they're weird looking, but. Hmm. Well, that's always a good time. I like that. No, that's. Hey, I, I do think that's a brilliant deal to do with your kids, though. Just let them pick. Just ask. Yeah. What do you think mom wants for Mother's Day? And then whatever they say. I'm kind of hoping that's what I get tonight. Like, just random weird stuff. Or pizza. Or pizza. <laughs> Pizza's top notch. Either one. Coupons for homemade pizza nights. That's what you really wanted. <laughs> I'm in. Oh, Lord have mercy. We got on side about that jerky. He ain't said nothing since. No. It's them almonds. No, I, I'm not a beef jerky man. No, boy, that's because you still sour over all that seven pounds of brisket and ribs you ate this weekend. That's what's... That was... That was Edible. 
<laughs> Look at that smirk on his face when he edible. says it. <laughs> got a big old smile. Yeah, that, oh, that edible. Uh, that smirk oh, on that his edible. face. What? Hey, oh, wasn't nothing to write home about, but you know, it's passable. Wasn't nothing to write home about. That right there ought to tell you all you need to know about my man's brisket from Kilgore, Texas. Oh, I did. I did forget. I need to tell y'all something that I liked over there at the Longview High Ridge Church. Go ahead. I'm in, I'm interested. There's 280 different churches or different denominations in Longview. Really? Okay. And they've started a ministry of the churches coming together. That's awesome. And right now they've got 50. You know, so what I think or what I would like to see for this to go nationwide so the churches stay independent of themselves, but then they, they get have together like, they once in a while. Together. So they work together for the best of the community. That's cool. Y'all you know, help yeah. the homeless. You know. Instead of working against each other, yeah, they're all after some common each goals. Other. And uh, you know, and and they've got the business people, business minded businesses. They're involved in it. You know, and what they collect, you know, give. You know, ten percent goes to help the homeless, feed them, and you know, try to get yeah. them back on their feet and stuff. Yeah. So it was actually a, a really good ministry. Cool. That's you know? what Willie spoke out with these guys. That's where I had the brisket. They have a night called like Unite Night, and well, it's no, no, a bunch of churches no, no. getting together. What I would like to see is okay. You know, the devil's lying to the, the human population. Let's come together, okay. Because right now, I will not even say the word United States of America because we're not united. So what I would challenge the nation to do, let's put the United back in the United States of America. That'd be nice. And for actually in a good place to start would be, hey, Jesus established the church, Okay. He's the one that died for it and brought his kingdom into being. Yeah. So look, let's come together as a as a nation. Okay, I, you know, just, you know, if you want to put a name out in front of the building where you, the church meets, just say, hey, God's children meets here. Or God's disciples meet here. Yeah. Just say the church meets here. Yeah. Yeah. Because, hey, we can have differences, but hey, we, hey, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they're one. That's the way they would like to see the human race. Is that if we think what we could do if we all would work together. Yep. Yeah. So that's my challenge to the nation. Hey, let's all work toward putting and bringing the word united where it's really real to these United States of America. Right now, I just say, hey, States of America. Because we ain't united on nothing. We done poked a bear and woke him up. Well, no, no. He wasn't talking a lot because he was saving it because it was. This could be a great revival for our nation. Okay, because it touched my heart over there with what these people are doing. That is a okay. cool thing to bring all that many that many yeah. people in one area together for some common goals. I mean, they can still meet at their place on Sunday oh, no. if yeah. they want to. But yeah, the, but every once a month, maybe. Yeah, let's all meet as a community for crying out loud. Boy, the worship would be awesome, yeah. wouldn't it? Because we're we believe in the same. There ain't but one God. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's three separate entities in it. But they ain't but one. Okay. So, hey, let's come together on that in agreement. You know, you got to disagree on a lot of things. But not on that. You know? I can dig it. Hey, I, I support. You know, hey, that's Freak. the challenge for the nation. Yeah. Let's come together and put United back where it used to be. These United States of America. Yeah. Bring United back to Monroe. No, I'm kidding. That's I never flew it. them anyway. Because I don't know how many denominations we've got in the Twin Cities, which I'm going to find out. Yeah. 
I don't know. There's a lot of small churches. But if you drive area. around in your towns, you'll be shocked how many different denominations there are. Mm-hmm. Claiming, claiming. Notice I said, okay, claiming to be Christian. Why don't we all come together and, you know, unity? Let's go for some unity here, folks. Hey, I like mm. it. Yeah, let's. Let's unify ourselves into a break, and we'll come back and read them emails, and then we'll get on out of here. We'll be back right after this. The back, best tummy, taxidermy I've ever seen. It's a monkey riding a coon with a sword. A what? Uh, that, that is a good one. That sounds like something out of Aladdin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Are we back? We're back. Know, we're we're back. back. I don't know. We I was I was scanning through the emails. I wanted, but you know, we did bad taxidermy. What did you say this was before I show Martin? Uh, the best taxidermy I've ever seen. I thought it was a monkey on riding a coon with a sword. That's close. Read them. This is Freedom, Matt. baby. He sent this in. That it's would a be a squirrel. Oh, a squirrel. That's even better. Riding a raccoon. Yeah, riding a raccoon with a sword. Screaming. That is a sword. With a sword screaming, freedom, baby, freedom. I mean, it, it's a weapon, to say the least. <laughs> That's a stick. But he's he's fashioned it into a sword. Hey, he's fashioned it into also, a Also, Matt, charge your phone. <laughs> I love it. Hey. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's bad. That's a unique one there. We need, I think that's what we really need. Some unique. bizarro taxidermy yeah. for this. Because that coyote strapped on top of that rocket was low key funny too. Oh yeah, especially yeah, that if you was grew good. Up with us, that was that was that was pretty cool. Okay. okay, it was beep beep. But anyway, folks, we're in the inbox. Hello at duckcallroom.com. Keep sending us stuff because we want to talk about it. Um, but what y'all Johnny doing? D. Yeah. What else we got in there? That was that was legit though. That so. Was, yeah, that was cool. We had we've had a fan. He calls himself Mr. Snips. I know, I know, Mr. Snip from Chattanooga. He's been around for a minute. Uh, mm-hmm. Sends a tough email in. Had to put their oldest beagle to sleep last Thursday. Uh, Fourteen years. 14. That's tough. That's tough. Uh, so, Andrew, buddy. So we, we hate to hear that, but they were sitting around talking about all their favorite memories, uh, and he wanted to know all of our favorite memories with any of our dogs. And if we have a good memory. Oh, man. Hmm. I got one. <laughs> Martin, don't cry. The dog's name was Bullet. This is going to be tough. He was I mean, a little. Bullet. He was a little cur. Okay. And we was waiting for the school bus. This is not the fond memory, but this, you know, everybody loved this dog. Anyway, we're fixed to get on the bus. And when we Get on it and sit down. Look, a uh, uh, tractor come by with a wagon and run over bullet. Okay, so we the bus stops. You know, we the dog's dead. We go to school crying. Everybody on the bus is crying because they know him. Get to school, the whole school is crying because they know him. I think I'm about to cry. But he was a, he was a cool dog because when he run up on a snake. The first time he did it, we thought, said, hey, look, he's he's a circus dog. Because he was doing backwards flips and jumping back and turning, just doing all kind of weird stuff. Then when we got up there, we seen why. There's a big cotton mouth coiled up striking at him. But that's my it's not where, That's not where oh. I thought my fondest memory would go. I thought we would have maybe told the snake part, not the tractor well, no, part. No, no, but, but I'm just saying, hey, the, you know, he was a cool dog. I didn't see that come in. <laughs> yeah. And I think I've heard the story before, so I should have. I apologize for laughing, but it was one of those laughs to keep from crying. Well, no, no, because, hey, you know, mm. everybody knew the dog, you know. So, hey. Well, that did it for me. <laughs> All right, so what what have y'all got? Got one. I can't top that. <laughs> well, this one time, Dublin was real old and sad and moving slow, so I took him to the vet, and we cried. <laughs> the end. Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, I had a dog named Johanna named all our dogs with, like, human names, like Todd. Yep. We got, Todd. A, we got a dog named Cal. I hear you're not supposed to do that. Well, tough. Her. <laughs> because like the firemen show up to a fire and they like, George is in there, George. And he's thinking that's a human. 
But mm. if had it been Rover, he might not have. You know. Hey, the dog needs to be saved too. But that was a that was a, a good a one. Hey, I was going to make that. He was a black lab, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, black. Todd. Todd. Yeah, that's a good dog. And I was going to make a duck dog out of him, but she took him to her dad's when New Year's, and them firecrackers spooked him. So every time thunder. Or gunshot, he's in the house. Mm -hmm. Your house, my house. He ain't gonna make a dog. Closest, he ain't make a hunting dog. The closest house. Yeah, he ain't gonna make a hunting dog. But look, don't come in the yard if he don't know you. No, sir. He get you. He's a good. He dog. was very loyal. Yeah, get you. Of course, Labradors are. They're very loyal to and uh, protect their home space. Yeah, Todd was a. He was a good dog. I always enjoyed my couch naps at Goblin's with his lamb because he didn't care. Once you knew you, though, you were in. You were in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, one, it t he, he'd be like that first couple of times I went over there, and then he's like, all right, no, I think he's cool. And then he, yeah. Uh, we go in there and get in Goblin's little short recliners where my feet would hang off about four foot. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Todd just get right up in there with me. Mm -hmm. so I was like, yeah, buddy, come on in here. It'd be fine. But yeah. I. Man, we had a lot of dogs growing up. Like I, I've got memories of all of them. I, I remember the little rat terrier we had called Patches. Uh, mm -hmm. Bandit. I, have, I, we had a Shadow. We had a uh, what was the other one from uh, from Homeward Bound? The other dog Shadow Chance. Chance, chance. Ch chance had Shadow a chance. And sassy. I just yep. showed my kids. Never had a sassy. That was a cat. But right had a Chance. Had a Shadow. Had a Tump. Like, there was all kinds of... I showed my kids Homeward Bound. Mama, Mama had a Wiedermeyer, the big gray dog, short tail. Weimaraner. Yeah. Weimaraner, same yeah. thing. Yeah. And, hey, she could talk. Mama had taught her to talk. She could talk? Dog could talk? She, she could talk. That's tight. No, no. What We're, would she say? Sunday, yeah. Sunday, Sunday. Chicken fried chicken meal. We're all in there, okay, and we hear a car come up in the yard. And, and, and Mamie had... For about two weeks, we would get off the school bus, come in the house, and that, that dog would be sitting right by the door. Well, the, she would watch us open it. Well, she figured it out, and hey, we couldn't keep her out of the house. She would hit that, hit that doorknob with them paws and come on in. So we, we heard the door, the car drive up, heard the door slam. Dog come in, Mamie come in, and Ray got, went right over and f sat down right in front of Mama and said, How's home? Everybody at the table when she went, oh, 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 oh. everybody said, Harold's home. <laughs> and hey, here you come, Harold. Okay. Well, he said, boy, I timed this right, didn't I? Let's eat. Yeah. But she could talk because <laughs> mama would, mama would, we would hear mama in there frying, frying eggs for breakfast and bacon. And she'd say, okay, mommy, go in there and wake the boys up. And we'd, <laughs> We'd hear Mamie running on them hardwood floors and turning corners. You could hear her scratching. You know, and then, hey, here she comes. She's been outside. Her nose is cold. <laughs> uh, no, you can't run from her either. And you couldn't keep her out of the bed. See? Hey, that's, see, that's a much better than a tractor. Oh, yeah. Much hey, much oh, more fun than ever. Fine dog. Her, her and that car was a team. And I'm not going to get into it. They was the greatest cat oh, the I hate you. <laughs> you. <laughs> But hey. <laughs> no, be they fun. was a pair. Wow. Yeah, they was a pair. All right, Johnny D. Oh, man. Well, you know, it's got to be old Dublin. Um, man, he's been. They do everything in twos. No, he didn't do much of anything, but. <laughs> but he was lovable. He was lovable. He's been gone for like seven months. Oh, yeah. Wow. He was no, lovable. the coolest stuff about him was like. I mean, he was kind of wild for a basset hound, but and so we were like, man, when we have kids, this is gonna be a disaster. yeah, floppy ear. Oh yeah, yeah, biggins, biggins. He step on him when he run. Sometimes he never ran, but he didn't run much. <laughs> um, but he uh, fed him too much, didn't he? Yes. Um, well, he ate it. So the <laughs> but well, when we brought Carter home, I said this this could be bad. Like I don't know how this is gonna go, and that sucker went from just annoying basset hound to like big brother mode like weirdly and like would take naps beside him like when my mother-in-law came over and tried to pick up carter I, I heard a noise of meanness out of like 
And I was like, hold on, bro. But I was like, also, yeah, yeah. I like this. Like, it was cool to know, like, he even going to bite my mother-in-law because he got our back. That's good. And so, you know, and just all the videos. Of, you, you, you had the one the other day of your kids laughing. Playing fetch. Playing fetch at the yeah. dog running back and forth. Man, I got some classic ones of Carter throwing food and just cracking up. They're laughing. finally all starting to like each other, Jude and the boys. They're finally all starting. Jude has finally, after seven months. Said, Not jealous no more. Well, she said, well, I guess they're going to live here. Yeah, they ain't, <laughs> ain't going to leave, are they? <laughs> I think she's just come to the realization, well, I guess they're here now. And, uh, but the, and the boys have really started like, when they wake up in the morning times and you take them out of their room, the first thing they're doing is looking for her. Like, where, where's our dog? And so now when we all get in the floor for playmat time, like it, it's cool. Jude gets right there in the middle of them, rolls over, and they lay on her. And so it's uh, it's going to make it even harder when she goes. She was mine and Brittany's first kid. Dogs, so, man. Yeah, man, dogs. They're, we don't deserve them. That's for that, I'm sure. But, uh, well, send us out of here, Jai. You got one? Though, man, it's sad about your beagle, but yeah. thanks for sharing. Glad your family had good time. And the words of Phil, just get you another one and name it the same thing. And they never go away. Mm, yeah. Dublin 2 is not going to happen anytime soon. No, well, that'd be quadruple. <sighs> That's a That's good, right. That'd actually be a funny name, quadruple. <laughs> go quad. Come go here. quad. Yeah. All right, I'm going to piggyback on Cy here, and this is kind of a deep Bible verse uh, because you got to know what Paul's talking to and the Corinthians and all that. Mm. But I want you to catch the gist of it. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no divisions among you, but that you are per you be perfectly united in mind and thought. I think we can take from this the original plan of Jesus was for us to follow Jesus yeah, and get behind that idea and spread that idea. Um, it is really cool what those guys over in Longview are doing at High Ridge and all the surrounding churches trying to be united and going out and growing Christ in the community, not in a building. So, Si, send us Let out. me finish this without with a challenge again. Okay. There's a phrase. United we stand, divided we fall. This nation is falling, folks. We better come back together. Let's come back together and get united and start with the church, okay, in our cities and in our towns. Let's start a movement, guys. That's my challenge to you. Amen. We'll see y'all here next. Yeah, we'll see y'all next time right here in the duck call room. Okay. Bye. Bye.